Trump has got to go, say hey, ho ho. Donald Trump has got to go, say hey, ho ho. Donald Trump has got to go, say hey, ho ho. Donald Trump has got to go, say hey, ho ho. Donald Trump has got to go, say hey, ho ho. Donald Trump has got to go, say hey, ho ho. Donald Trump has got to go, say hey. So, hi, my name is Kim Long and I am from Glasgow. I, I am from the Green Party and I'm standing in Denison in the council elections and um, Patrick Harvey is coming along and chatting um, a little bit later, which will be great. Um, but in the meantime, I, I just want to say um, big up to all of you for coming out. This is really important. So on Saturday, we know that Donald Trump signed an executive order and he did this um, while people were in the air, while people were in planes with no warning and they got there into the airports and they were detained. So we've seen the pictures, there are children who have been in handcuffs, there are families who do not know what is happening to their loved ones, there are people with green cards, people who have every right to be there who already have made their home in America and Donald Trump has signed that order. And we say that is disgusting. We say that it is cowardly. We say that it is illegal under international law, under American law. Everybody in this earth has the right to seek refuge. I'm going to say that again because it's really bloody important. Everyone on earth has the right to seek refuge. Today and we are standing here in solidarity with refugees. We are standing here in solidarity with Muslims because we know that this is a Muslim ban. We know that this is yet another attack on our Muslim brothers and sisters and we say it's not fucking good enough. And we are in solidarity because you've got to have hope because you can see if you look it up, there are people resisting. We know that ordinary people, ordinary Americans went out to the airport at like one in the morning, they turned up, they got out of their beds and they drove there and they showed up and they said, this is not good enough. And then the taxi drivers in New York went on strike and they said, this is not good enough. And then lawyers went and sat on the floor of the airports and worked their arses off collectively unpaid volunteering so that people could access their rights to which they're entitled they're just defending due process and these lawyers did that i saw an amazing photo of this woman who was like eight months pregnant kneeling on the floor with her laptop working on behalf of people she did not know and that gives me so much hope so thank you for coming out tonight this is really important. We will stand with refugees. We will stand with Muslims. And we will keep standing and we will keep coming out when they come for LGBT people, when they come for other immigrants, when they come for women, when they come for our black brothers and sisters. We know this. We will keep turning up and we will stand up together for our common humanity. Thank you. I'm a Christian, I have the sign around my neck. I follow a faith which means I follow a man who was a refugee himself. He was a Jewish refugee, running away, hiding from the imperial overlords of his day. Um, and Jesus taught us that we should love our neighbour. Now when somebody asked him, who is my neighbour? 
He told a story about showing love and kindness and acceptance to someone who by their faith and by their race should have been an enemy. And so quite simply that is why I'm here today to stand together with people of all faiths and of no faith to say to those who've been excluded, we love you and we accept you and we stand with you. Thank you.